In this video, I will be featuring Wellness Living's new Message Center feature. So to get to the Message Center, what we want to do is go up to Setup, then we're going to click on Message. So what is the Message Center? The Message Center allows for you to engage in full end-to-end -end conversations with new and existing clients via SMS text message. Clients can reply to your automated SMS marketing texts and notifications, or simply send a message to your assigned phone number to start a new conversation. In addition, Businesses can combine Message Center with Wellness Living's virtual service options to facilitate true on-demand services for clients. And as of right now, two-way SMS is currently only available to customers in Canada and the United States. Continuing on, we're just going to scroll down until we reach this page, which is the Pricing Made Simple page. It is also very important for businesses to determine which pricing plan is most suitable for them. Businesses can also review their past SMS send history and then cross-reference it with the pricing and text options that Wellness Living has provided here. The Pricing Made Simple section shows businesses what they will receive when paying for additional credits. The SMS Two-Way Message Center is built on using credits, which equate to the same as a text message. So here's a quick breakdown. One credit is equal to one text message, and 160 characters in a message is equal to one credit. So as you can see here, there are increments of credits, so 1,000 credits, 2,500 credits, 5,000 credits, 10,000 credits, and 25,000 credits. And if we scroll down again, we will reach this page, which is the Frequently Asked Questions page, otherwise known as FAQ. So this is a collapsible FAQ, which is available for businesses to view at any time regarding any kind of message center inquiries. Another important aspect for businesses is to know how to set up their number in message center. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're just going to navigate up to settings, click on that. Then you're going to see this screen. You want to make sure that enable number is on. We're going to hover over the pencil icon right now to change number. And then what you want to do is put in a relevant area code for your business. So I'll put in 905. And then we're going to click generate. You can see at the bottom here that there are numbers that have been generated. So the business just has to go through and pick a number that they like best. So I like this one. So what we're gonna do is go to the bottom, hit save. Then you get a notification at the top that says number has been successfully registered. So now for message center and two-way texting for your business, that will be the number that you use. All right, so continuing on, we're just going to navigate up to message and we're going to click on that. And it's going to bring you to this screen. So within this column, these are all of your conversations that you have with your clients. And if you go to the top of the inbox, you can filter the inbox through all, unread, read, replied, or archived. You can also search up clients within the inbox as well. And you have filter options. So if you click filter, you can filter by date client home location, and client types as well. So an example of a two-way text conversation in Message Center would be right here. So you can see as the business, I sent a text, I received one back, sent one again, received one back. So that's what it looks like. What we're going to do now is we're going to start a new conversation. So the process for that would be hover up to new conversation, click on that. And two, we're just going to click in here, and I want to send one to Brittany. So we have this up, so I can just type a conversation. And then we can send that text message. So that's one sent. So just look down here at characters remaining in messages. Right now in characters remaining, we have 980, and then in messages, we have one. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in, and then keep your eye on messages. So now from 980 characters, we went down to 819, and for messages, we went into two messages. So it's just being mindful to remember that 160 characters is equal to one credit or one text message, and it is very important to keep that in mind whenever you are creating text messages or sending messages to clients, because you don't want to keep putting in too many characters and then having multiple messages sent off, which will eat into your credits. Another important aspect for businesses is if they receive a text message, 
they will get a notification at the top nav bar under the message icon that will show up in a little red dot. So if we want to add messages to your nav bar, what we want to do is go up into app drawer, click on that, go into message, then on the three dots, click there. And since I have it on my nav bar already, I'm just going to unpin it for now. And as you can see, it disappears. We'll go back into those three dots and we will pin it to nav bar and you'll see that it does come up in my nav bar. Another thing to keep your eye on is the status of the message. So as you can see here for this message, it says sent. It can also say pending or failed if the message fails. And that is everything for Message Center.